it's Mark, and this is my buddy Brett. We're in Brett's garage tonight, and we're going to be tearing into a, what year is it? It's between 49 and 52. Around a 1950 Ford 8N. We're going to be replacing the cylinder and the seals with the cylinder for the lift arms. Um, it's not holding pressure, it's blowing by, so the arms are falling and it, he can't set his depth. So we're gonna get started tearing into this tractor. The, uh, the first thing he did was remove the seat. We already went ahead and loosened everything up. These uh, two nuts on these two studs hold the seat on, it's pretty easy. And then we're, we loosen all the bolts around this top cover and the pins on the lift arm we will be removing all that so disconnecting the lift arms with the pin or held on held on with a cotter pin And the upper pin. That's not going to move. And then the top cover. Down in there still? Well, there's that, um, there's that arm. Let's go up over. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> but it doesn't look like there's a. I guess there is hydraulic fluid in there. So that's good. Um, so we're going to take this plate off here to get to uh, the hydraulic relief valve, which I don't see right off, but once we drain this fluid, we probably will see it. Um, I guess the next step is, whoa, I think that's supposed to be like that. That chunk that's missing <laughs> where, where the gear's exposed? Yeah. Well, anyways, it still runs good. <laughs> <clears throat> All like things a piece aside, of the case is missing there. Yeah, nothing's been done on this tractor for a long time. It's been neglected. Still runs well. Plows the driveway just like we needed to. It's gonna plow field like we needed to. Look at this. Just crude work here. <laughs> what kind of fluid is that in there, Brett? <clears throat> well, that's supposed to be uh, 
mineral oil. Okay. But uh, doesn't look like it. Yeah, these eight ends use a different kind of hydraulic fluid. You can buy the tractor supply. I believe it's uh, 90 weight mineral oil. What they have a tractor supply is just labeled uh, older, older Ford tractor uh, lubricating oil, hydraulic oil. Uses five gallons. Are they in this, here or is it this right this here? This is the cylinder. We'll pop that off and the piston's inside of it. So That's we're going to be replacing the seal on the cylinder inside of here. And supposedly, if this is the original uh, original piston in here, it has three rings just like a... Uh, three rings like a um, piston for a car. This new piston, which is a alternative part number, um, <clears throat> it has a O-ring, one big O-ring, and then a leather seal. And it's supposed to work better than the three ring uh, piston that was original to the system. So, you see. So we were trying to drain the hydraulic oil out and the plug snapped off. And we had the container underneath the tractor, but the plug wasn't fully unseated, I guess. So, made a big giant mess. And now we're going to have to fix the plug. Sheared off. So. Barely put any pressure to it, too. So now we're removing the piston and cylinder here with these four bolts go through all the way through the top of the case. Gasket is just destroyed. Yeah. Do you have a new one of those? I don't. I'm gonna go to uh, Good AutoZone and get a gasket. Uh, just roll the belt. So that gasket was pretty well destroyed, blocking some of the flow. And if you take an air hose and blow air into this port, it'll shoot the piston out. Just make sure that you have something to catch it. That piston actuates. That rod actuates the piston. Care about this uh, old piston, so we'll see what happens. It's about to come out. The old There's the old piston. We have a replacement. It's uh, not 
not really in bad shape. Seals look all right. I mean, none of them will make a full full contact, but definitely show some scoring. Keep it as a spare. Buy another one. <laughs> so the leather seal we have soaking in water. It helps it to put on to the new piston. You have a leather seal and a rubber o-ring seal. Alright, so the rubber o-ring goes on the closed side of the piston. And the leather o-ring goes on the open side. This is going to be a heck of a stretch. So we're going to put some oil on the o-rings and slide the piston into the piston housing the cylinder. And it's seated and we're gonna get some new gaskets put on over the port so we're trying to remove this bottom plate with uh, multiple bolts here once you drop this plate down the hydraulic pump is sitting on top of it so we can figure out where this relief valve is because from what we've seen the relief valve isn't in the same location on this tractor as where we were thinking it was going to be so we're going to drop the whole plate down we busted this uh, this off anyway so we're going to have to get the uh, that's the hydraulic drain plug we're going to get the drain uh, the rest of the plug out so it'll help to have this off anyways true very true Start. It's coming. All right, so we found the relief valve. It's down underneath the drive shaft. Uh, we removed all the bolts around. You want to remove them around the right side because the left side has a lever. So you don't have to disconnect all that. You pull the right side. You have to remove, there's bolts through the step and everything, move the step out of the way. Looks like six bolts where the uh, hydraulic dipstick, oil dipstick is. And pull that up out of the way. And it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can point to it from this side. 
It's right underneath the shaft. Right where my finger is, right here. Right there where his finger is, that's the relief valve. So all you have to do is turn it out and <laughs> tighten the new one in there. That's it. All you gotta do. It's kind of a pain in the butt location, but this pan will give you the best access to it.